Fast movement in the spotlight. All right, tonight we're very lucky to be joined by Robert Kenner, the director of Food, Inc. How are you? I'm good. It's good to be here, Joe. We're very thankful that you're on. Um, I watched the movie earlier this week. And is this your first foray into the horror film genre? <laughs> I didn't know that food was such a subversive subject. I think I could have been doing a film on nuclear terrorism and had greater access than I had in this world. But it's too bad because I think having a real life conversation about where our food comes from would be a healthy and good thing to be doing. But unfortunately, many of these agribusinesses didn't want us to be talking about where our food comes from. They don't want us thinking about where it's grown and what's in it and that was a big surprise to me it's funny though because now that the film is out there's certain companies there's one in the film that genetically alters soybeans and they're talking quite a bit and i i believe they're following you around the country talking after you we went to many corporations we mention a lot in the film who didn't want to talk to us but there are far more that didn't want to talk to us and monsanto uh we spent months trying to get them Unfortunately, one of the things is they're saying that they never declined to be in the film. They say we were invited to a trade show. We were invited, but we were then told that they don't allow press that's not connected to agribusiness. So they said, oh, they didn't come to the show. We could have come, but we would have had to stand outside and not go in. We would have loved to have gone to film at that show. It was about a four or five months period of trying to get them in, but we had to finish the film and I'm disappointed their voice was not heard. Do you think the food business is the new tobacco business? with their clout in Washington and some of the shady tactics? There's real parallels between these two industries. I think food businesses are totally powerful. They are totally connected to government. And we are not getting the proper information about this product that is making Americans sick. You know, when I was a kid, we spent something like 18% of our money on food. Today, we spend 9%. That's an incredible achievement. But when I was a kid, we spent something like 5% of our money on health care. And today, we spend 18%. There's a direct correlation between these two things. This food is making us sick. Food Inc. is an attempt to get you to think about it and to see the real consequences of this new system. Now, is food still food? Because in the movie, I mean, you show that tomatoes aren't really tomatoes. The chickens that are growing so rapidly, they can't even walk. A lot of this stuff is being genetically altered. Is this act of God really just going to come around and bite us in the ass? <laughs> now, when I have to go out and if I have to eat this industrial food, you know, whether it's that chicken or whether it's that tomato, it's just doesn't taste the same when you know what it's like. One scene that's not in the film is that we almost filled in, in these strawberry fields. These people have to wear spacesuits to go spray the, the strawberries. And I'm thinking, God, if they have to stand out there in spacesuits, do I want to eat the stuff? You know, for me, one of the shocking things is I went to uh, a hearing about whether we should label cloned meats. And I thought, God, I didn't even know we had cloned meats. You know, that's kind of scary. But the industry representative stood up and said, I think it would be too confusing to the consumer to put that kind of information on a label. And it's not just being denied the information. It really alarmed me to learn that the Department of Agriculture can't recall tainted meat or shut down a plant for doing these things. And that's just shocking to me. Uh, there's a story in the film about a mom who fed her son a hamburger and it had E. coli in it and he died. And then she was horrified to learn that that meat was on the shelves for 12 more days after he died, even though they knew where it came from, and um, that the government didn't have the power to recall it. It was only the corporations. And that's still true today. But I'm optimistic. Things are going to change, you know, and like tobacco, where we basically let people know this is a product that's not healthy. I think we're starting to get the word out about food and there's a growing movement. And hopefully as that movement grows, we're going to be able to change the system. So one of the best things is to try to change our national school lunch program the food that's going to this place. I mean, there are things that you see in the, the film that you just wouldn't want to eat. But if we could spend a little more, we'd save a lot. I hope so. I mean, all this low cost food is definitely coming at a high price. And I highly recommend that people out there check out Food Inc. It's a really scary and informative look at what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, Robert Kenner, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much. Putting the world's biggest stars at your fingertips. The Mass Movement with Joe Bermudez. Join the movement now at massmovementradio.com.